In this video, we are going to be talking about a number of different facial features that a number of people with autism have in common. I'm Craig Kahn. I've got it going on. And this is Team Autism Peter, where we're dedicated to educating you about autism and how you can improve the lives of people with autism. If you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing so that you can get our latest videos. There are two different types of signs I've seen and have heard of um, that people with autism often can have in their face. So we're going to first talk about the one that we can work on, and then we're going to talk about the one that uh, is not something that can be worked on. first sign is that we can often have a, a blank stare or just not showing so mo much emotion in our face. I know I, I often have this, and I've definitely been able to improve over the years in this. This is something that we're born with that we don't get naturally. It's like I've talked about friendship with myself, that friendship is something that I didn't do so naturally, easily, but I've been able to learn. And I've definitely been able to improve in facial expressions by doing the all of those and practicing them. And so you can, too can work on improving them, but you shouldn't focus all your energy and effort in that because you have a lot of other strengths in that, and you should look at focusing on your strengths and put a little bit of time and effort into your weaknesses because your strengths are, are going to be what gets you ahead in life, not just uh, trying to uh, work on your weaknesses. The second set of uh, facial features that uh, some people with autism can have is actually something that was recently found out by the uh, study done by the University of Missouri. In this study, they, they found that certain facial features people with autism developed as children and like in their early development, like in the womb and all that, similar to how people with Down syndrome also have a number of similar facial expressions. Definitely the autism is diagnosed based on um, social skills and all that, but this may be something there that can lead to more understanding of autism and that. But again, this is something that people who have autism can't really do much about because this is something that we're born with and not something that you can work on and develop in. But here, here's what the study found. The signs they found are a broad upper face, which includes wider eyes, a short middle face, which is the nose and the cheeks, and then between the nose and the upper lip, that area can often be wider and broader. So those are the signs they found that people with autism often have um, but this is not how you diagnose autism. Autism is based on um, social skills and that, and, and each person with autism will be different, and that. so just know that, and look at what you can improve on and that. Don't dwell on what you can't. Thanks for watching, and I would like to know from you, have you seen any of these signs in people with autism? And if you would like to get more of these videos, I would love to have you here, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you can get the latest notifications of when the videos come out. Have a great day.